What's up guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. So, a little while ago, as in a couple months ago, I said that I was going to start doing, uh, going over my department's vehicles and you know what they consist of and what year and model they are. So, this is our 2006 GMC brush truck, purchased brand new by us in 2006. So this is as basic as a brush shark comes. If you see up here, I actually just installed another GoPro. I took the one off the tanker because we don't use it as much and it's brush fire season. So I figured that this would be a good time to do something like this. So yeah, so this is as basic as a brush shark comes. No kidding, like honestly. So up here, up top, you have your suction that you can connect to your pump. That's right there. So you can suction from a fire hydrant or another uh, a fire apparatus, whether it's the engine or you know like a creek or something. So in here, our first compartment, you have a lot of your basic needs. You have your chainsaw, mixed gas, regular gas, hard hat, some duct tape, uh, another lighter, some more chainsaw blades there. Um, these are another funnel but these are some gas these little cans you can put these onto your belt and you can go you can go wherever you want so you only have to run out of gas um, you have your chaps another hard hat some gloves ear protection I believe that's a first aid kit yeah, first aid kit so that's what's in that I'm sorry for the noise it's our heater just kicked on up there it's getting a little chilly out so in this apartment <clears throat> You have some pickup take head, take head axes. Yep, pretty basic. In our compartment up here is requires two hands. You have your fire rigs. So when I said this is as basic as it comes, I really wasn't kidding. I mean, it was pretty basic. It's bottled water. And here you have leaf blower. Um, leaf blowers are pretty simple. You have your other tube here. Once you get out of the truck, you, know, you start to get it pumping and stuff. You just put this end on that and you are ready to go if you're throwing. Leaf blower is a very big asset for hiding brush fires. Very useful. That's why I used on the fire a couple days ago. Yep. So this truck carries foam and water. This truck does not have foam in it, it just has water. I'm not sure how much water this holds. I want to say about, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to give you a number because I really don't know. But this is the pump that is operated. You have your inch and a half hose reel up there, your nozzle. So, in this compartment, you just have some basic hose. Go over our charger here. All our trucks are plugged in, by the way. Each and every single one of them keep them all charged, you know. And here you have another leaf blower. And here is the hose that I just pulled back there. Down here you have some utility ropes, some more bottled water, and some fittings. And our compartment up here you have some shovels and some smaller hose. And here you have two more leaf blowers. So that's all the equipment this truck carries. Um, our 97 back there carries the exact same tools, just in different boxes and different locations. So this truck is actually, I'm not gonna say one of my favorites, but I really like the way it's built. You have your main, let me take this out. You have your main light set up here if you're wig wags, flashlight, flashing lights, takedowns in your right and left alley. We have a Kenwood radio and we have an older little sign here, I'm not sure what it is. The Southern VP. If anyone knows anything about that, because I do not. Um, all of our trucks also carry an extra radio. And this is what this light, what the light setup is for this truck. The lights on it are actually pretty dull compared to a lot of our others. You have your two rear lights at the front, then your different patterns, and then back here you have your little 
red lights. This iron is also kind of interesting. It's a older school type of ordeal. school very loud <laughs> I mean well it's not as loud as compared to like 95's Golf Street Thunder which is actually my hand sound favorite and which is what I purchased for my POV that you all will see later on in the future hopefully so yeah this concludes our brush truck 96 so like I said 97 carries the exact same stuff you know, chainsaws leaf blowers fire axes, anything you can think of. Um, this is a very old school truck. I This truck was built in the 90s. I'm not sure what year it is. But this is the light pattern on that. So you just hit your master. These are your main lights. I'm not going to turn the takedowns or the alley lights, whatever you want to call them. Um, because they draw a lot of power from the battery or the light bar itself. And it don't give you the you know, complete power compared to well, actually one of them. Oh, hold on. Well, yeah, they lights. All right, so this is a very old school light bar. This is actually one of my favorites. I love the old school LEDs. Nice fast pattern in the front. You have your yellow in the back. And the siren in here. control the siren too. Hold on a second. I'm gonna pause the video so I can figure this out. Give me one second. Alright, I figured it out. All I had to do is just turn the key on. So this is the whale and yelp, which is all this has. This is an older federal signal siren. Very old school, as you can tell in that. So yeah, that's what this truck completes of. Um, what's different compared to this truck, compared to 96? Um, this truck will go almost anywhere. Like hands down, anywhere we want to in this county. Um, this truck also has a skid tray, so that we can put someone in the backboard in the back of that, strap them down and go if we had to. Um, case scenario would be four-wheeler accident in the middle of nowhere. We can get this truck back there and get the person back board and we can get them out to where they can be taken out by ambulance by then. So yeah, um, this truck also carries water and foam on it, but none of our trucks carry foam, just water, simply because we wouldn't ever need foam and foam is quite expensive. And both these trucks also have winches on them. And 96 also has a nice brush guard on it. Same as 95. The winch. And so yeah, that's pretty much that. I'm going to now go to my gear. Because I had seen where someone had asked me what do I carry in my gear. And I wasn't able to completely tell them exactly because I wasn't sure. Because like, it it's been a while, you know. So let's go check out my gear. Alright, this is my gear. Last name is Simonton. Yes, indeed. So, helmet. Don't have anything spectacular in here. It's got my no max. Um, so, for those of you all who do keep up to date with my stuff, I am looking to get a fire cam sometime in my future. So, we go on this bad boy. Um, so, I'm the only one in my station who actually carries a shoulder mic on them. I leave it attached to my vest. And if you've ever noticed, you ever see pictures of me or anything, my radio always has this slot missing. That's because I can just easily plug that in when we're in the truck. Um, yes, I do look stupid a lot of the time compared to my other members because I am missing a giant side of my radio. But it beats trying to unscrew something in the truck getting to a fire. So I can plug this in. Um, this is a BTEC. I ordered off Amazon. It was about 40 bucks. Honestly, probably the best thing I've ever purchased 
for my firefighting experience because if you're on traffic control and it is absolutely pouring down the rain I can easily just put my radio in this little pocket right here and it protects it from water damage and almost anything else you can think of and the water don't affect this thing this thing's pretty much waterproof and so yeah so I got my little thin red line shout out to Isaac Golf for giving me that my birthday appreciate it homie so these are our flashlights we use survivor stream lights things are nice and bright LEDs so my pockets I just have my basic left glove in here. Sometimes I do wear glasses, as you all have probably seen. So I have these little alcohol wipes, some medical gloves, and a Bible. In this pocket, I have my right glove. For that. So my pants are also very simple. Hold on, let me put you all down for one sec. So I actually carry two sets of gloves on me. These gloves I use for say traffic control or if we're doing some light brush work or anything like that. Um, these gloves are not thick compared to my actual firefighting gloves, but these gloves are just used for, you know, if I need a little bit of warmth or if we're gonna be doing some light work and I don't wanna get my hands dirty. That's what that comes down to, basically. So same as my left side. My left side I actually have a one center punch here in case I gotta take out a window or something. This has actually been used. And my left green glove. So yeah. Um, these are this my coat anyway is a globe coat. I think the brand should be on the back. No, it's a morning pride. I think the back it's morning pride. And I'm not sure what my pants are. Give me a second, I'll actually find it. Yep, same as I thought. These are indeed morning pride pants. And these, I'm trying to see what size boots are. So these things are actually pretty huge. Have a pretty big, big foot. I don't know, whatever these boots are, they are great boots. 10 out of 10, recommended. I think they're like size 11s or 12s. Anyway, that's my gear. Um, as you see, everyone else pretty much has the same setup as me. Some people carry, you know, like a spanner wrenches or anything such as that but we don't really fight enough fire for me to purchase something like that but i go all out as much as i can you know so that pretty much wraps up this video if you guys would like to see more of this please do tell me so if you don't want to see more of this please also do tell me so i mean feedback goes a long way what can i do different what do you want to see different what truck do you want to see next? I mean, you have your three engines, your rescue, and side-by-side, -side and tanker. I mean, it gets as pretty simple as that, but I figure since it was brush fire season, why not, you know? So, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Tell me what you think. Don't forget, thank you for responder. Be safe.